What I wanted to talk to you uh, about today is two things. One, uh, the rise of a culture of availability, and two, a request. So we're seeing a rise of this availability being driven by mobile device proliferation globally across all social strata. We're seeing along with that proliferation of mobile devices an expectation of availability. And with that comes the third point, which is obligation, an obligation to that availability. And the problem is we're still working through, from a societal standpoint, how we allow people to be available. There's a significant delta, in fact, between what we're willing to accept. Apologies to Hans Rosling. Uh, he said anything that's not using real stats is a lie. But the big delta there is how we deal with this on a, from a public standpoint. So we've developed certain tactics and strategies to, uh, to cover off. <laughs> this first one's called the lean. And if you've ever been in the meeting where you play sort of meeting chicken, you're sitting there looking at the person, waiting for them to look away, and then quickly checking the device. Although you can see the gentleman up on the right is busting him. The stretch, okay, the gentleman on the left is just saying, screw you, I'm gonna check my device. But the guy here on the right, he's doing the stretch. It's, it's that reach out, the physical contortion to get the device just below the, uh, the tabletop. Or my favorite, the love you, mean it. <laughs> Nothing says I love you like let me find somebody else I give a damn about. Or this one coming to us from India, uh, you can find this on YouTube, the gentleman who's recumbent on a motorcycle while text messaging, or what we call the uh, sweet gravy, stop me before I kill again. <laughs> that is actually the device. What this is doing is we, we find a, a, a direct collision. <laughs> we, we find a direct collision between availability uh, and what's possible through availability, and um, a fundamental human need, which we've been hearing about a lot, actually, which is the, the, the need to create shared narratives. We're very good at creating personal narratives, but it's the shared narratives that make us a culture. And when you're standing with someone and you're on your mobile device, effectively what you're saying to them is, you are not as important as literally almost anything that could come to me through this device. Uh, look around you, there might be somebody on one right now participating in multi-dimensional engagement. Here, our, our reality right now is less interesting than the story we're going to tell about it later. Uh, this, this one I love, this poor kid, clearly a prop. Don't get me wrong, a willing prop, but the kiss that's being documented kind of looks like it sucks. This is the sound of one hand clapping. So as we lose the context uh, of our identity, it becomes incredibly important that what you share becomes the context of shared narrative, becomes the context in which we live. The stories that we tell, what we push out, becomes who we are. People aren't simply projecting identity, they're creating it. And so that's the request that I have for everybody in this room. We are creating the technology that is going to create the new shared experience, which will create the new world. And so my request is, please, Let's make technologies that make people more human and not less. Thank you.